filler one. So, as I get so many servers, so let's look at one and try to count how much we can earn on that. So, let's just quick look what we're working with. That's the beast. And it weighed like almost 32 kilos. So, not bad for a start number. Look like this. Let me just grab it and put on the workbench. I will drop everything into this box later on. We sort it and then try to weight everything and find out how much we can earn of that. Okay, so I get the old beast from there. I make enough space. Just, I just did a bit. So, actually, this one has no uh, hard drives in it. Anyway, okay, try to lift a little bit. a lot of uh, information on top of the cover. Okay, where's my gloves? I need the gloves. I have no gloves. That's bad. I need to find some. Cool. I got some gloves. Now I can work. Anyway, <laughs> let's open it up. To hit the switch to open it up and that's the look of inside it's just iron frame cover actually okay so this iron is too big to fill in this pop box Anyway, what do we have in here? It's actually looking like like new inside. See? No dust at all. Nothing. Very clean. But yeah. No, I will not save it. Okay. So let's open it up. No, we don't need to open this one up. We need to open that one up. So we have we had one PC card with the battery on it, as you can see. I have no idea what those things doing, but anyway, this battery is uh, nickel metal. Hydride battery. Okay, and it's standing on it. It must be recycled or disposed properly. So cool. We save some. We got like big CPU looking things with the aluminum heatsink on it. Let's try to get get it on. Yeah, I don't have any tools set up yet because this is the first one what I just taking apart 
Anyway, we end up with one tiny aluminum heat sink. Let's just get rid of that iron in here. No, there's one more screw under this battery cover. Let's try to get it off. No, there's one more screw. I just missed. And then battery just coming out. It looks like it has some circuit board inside as well. So cool. So I end up with a piece of iron, PC card with the nice, uh, yeah, we could call it like flat pack on it. Nice populated from behind, a lot of set of gold fingers, nice MLCCs, quite big. This look like memory chips, but I'm not sure. Anyway, quite big tantalums. And this is gold plating as well, and all this tiny stuff as well. Gold plated, so cool. Yeah, let's just drop it in this box, or I just get the box closer. Let's say, let's say here. Try that. So this is just iron. Ah, screws I will just leave inside. Let's try to open it up this battery. It looks like it's already damaged, as you can see in here like big one or no it was quite easy that's the effect there we go just quite nice circle board nothing behind just two batteries yeah, they are broken, you can see it's leaking. So, get rid of this. Yeah, drop it into the box. We will sort it later on. What next we can take? No, ours electric motors in nice casing. Contacts. Let's try to open it up. I did that before, but I already forgot, so... Cool, piece of plastic, another one. this one out we need to like push something just like here if I remember right yeah it was close and then just pull it and we also have one LED in here that's cool the box to the box let's try to get this wire no, they don't want to just come out, so we will just cut it away in here. So this will be our electric motor. And as well, we need to separate cables from these contacts and LED as well. So this all end up in the box, there will be our wires. <coughs> we got one more to deal with. Come on, open it up. Ok, 
actually coming out little guy there we go okay Electric motor. Contacts. LED. Okay, we're done with these two. Okay. Nothing on this, just two pieces of plastic. I do like the severs because it's like easy to take apart. So we got another like peripheral board with something on it. Nice plasticky holder. Nice set of gold plated pins. Ah, fingers, not pins. Few ICs. Few like transistors, I believe. On the other side very nice MLCCs and like two thick film resistors how those heat sink it's no those stuff are just spools I can see the copper from the side anyway let's try to pray it out and not hit the hand no it's coming it's coming there we go so and those heat sink I believe it's only for these transistors because there's like nothing on, under it but still nice piece of extruded alu no there is nothing under cool <coughs> so that's it Get nice set of like ram sticks, like four of them, as I can see, and each one has 512 megabytes. So not at the not the newer stuff. No, no, sorry, we got two 512 this one is one gigabyte and this one is as well one gigabyte so we got two one gigs and one and two half gigs so cool then we get some like <coughs> contacts as well there is some something anyway Let's get out our cherry from the, from the cake. There we go. Okay. There's our CPU. Let's just clear it out a little bit and it's standing on it Intel Xeon it is from 2001st mounted on the tiny circuit boards aside we have nice set of MLCCs like few IC chips another set of MLCCs quite big one under this just golden pins nice no oh, to the box <laughs> the CPUs always goes to a side but this time it go to the box anyway this we have uh, alu copper heatsink the base is made of thick copper rest I believe it's just aluminum 
but let me scratch this one here yeah it is aluminum so only the base is like made of copper yeah screws are for sure magnetic yeah so deal with that later and in this case we get only one CPU too bad but yeah sorry I get another fan from behind so it's the same kind of fans but it got they got only three wings so I believe that make them less noisy but I'm not sure okay plastic wires contacts and plastic again tiny bit of wires electric motor ok what else we can take out of here of here this plastic thing same as this one somehow Out. No, this way. Two pieces of plastic. And there's coming our, I believe, steering board for. No, power board for our fans. What should cool our CPUs? Yeah, as I said. But this set of pins in this one, it's like gold plated. These two, I'm not sure, I cannot see so much. I don't know if I'll be able to take it out. It's coming. And it's gold plated pins, so cool. Let's just get the second one. Yep, same deal. Not cool. So at least mid grade board. Or maybe I can drop it together with the server boards. What else? Another cable. Doesn't look like gold plated but this side does so let's just anyway i need to cut them both away so so one not gold plated contacts one gold plated contacts and piece of wire another cable no need to dig a little bit more to grab the second end there I got like some panel there we go no it has no contact in here but it just uh, wielded or loaded on it piece of plastic nice amount of LEDs and one tiny switch so 
cool. This for sure is gold plated, so let's just try to open it up. No, not that kind of contact, but still. Come on. So, golden contacts and piece of cable. Let's cut right away this one to the box. What do we have in here? No, again, Some contacts for fans. cool this doesn't look like gold plated so just cut them away to the box this one also doesn't look like gold plated gold plated but it was the same kind kind like we got on this power board for guns so two of them and piece of wire what else I can get out of brackets for mounting cooling system for our CPUs it's like four screws on each and it's nice piece of cast aluminum two of them cool okay. another connector let's we get rid of it this IDE cables for our CD drive. Yeah, you heard right, CD. Plastic, plastic, gold plated contacts. Same deal on the other side. Two pieces of plastic contacts and piece of wire let's get rid of this power supply no I need to change my bit because this one is like a little bit too small and I don't want to break the screws okay let's try to fish out our motherboard now oh, there is one more cable I do like that long bits it's very helpful somewhere doesn't look like but I can see some kind of pulley in here do trying to pull it but it does not working no I believe I just need to get rid of the uh, screws behind in there if I 
remember right, it was like five millimeters screw. Yo, that's right. Those tiny brass screws. our main board impressive size and yeah, let's get rid of this tiny alu heat sink again there's some protection film in here get rid of that take out the batteries we don't need it in here some more heat sinks just glue it on the chips like three of them so what do we have in here tons of gold plated pins in these slots let's look at those one golden BGA, second one, third one, fourth, five, five gold corner BGAs, a lot of uh, tantalum capacitors, black and the yellow, a lot of them all over the place, more gold plated pins here as well. Yeah, that's just great. I don't see so many MLCCs. No, there is some. Like, turn around. In this corner, there's few of them. But together with them, I see these golden aged crystals. So, that's cool. Yeah behind in the CPU area tons of capacitors yeah in here few of them and some IC chips just great and the size of it is just great <laughs> like that okay what do we have rest in this case Two, like big. It's oh shit! It's still heavy. One, one power supply unit with the nice gold plated pins. There's the second one. Just cool. side for now. Just great. They are quite heavy. Oh, it looks a little bit weight, but still. Now, there are some switches or clips, whatever you call them. the fans set of two quite 
quite easy to take out. Because LED don't want to come out. Yeah, that's the way. Piece of plastic again. Same deal. Just contacts and wires and LED lamp into the box. Another electric motor. One move, I open it up from cover. Just plastic, anyway. Yeah, two blanks for to shut down this hole for drive. I just need to turn this around. And believe me or not, but it's still quite heavy. Okay, we got our CD drive. I might keep one. This one actually, because this CD drive, it's not very often anymore. You don't see them, and for some like old PC renovation or something like that, could be very useful. And I believe they are not used very often in this type of uh, equipment, so could be like new. But anyway, for now it's going to the box. No, there we got our blanks for hard drives. Just covers. Oh, my box is getting full. There's our pa front panel. I see tiny one. <coughs> no, something fall <coughs> in my throat. But these LEDs actually look like they have some gold inside. At least look like. I don't know if you can see or not, but still. To the box. Plastic. <coughs> this should come out somehow. Easy, I believe. Got like two clamps and this SCSI, I believe, cable. It got like a lot of nice gold plated pins. Basically the same deal like with IDE cables, easy to take apart and yeah. 
Still, second one, just a piece of wire. Okay, how to take this one out? I don't remember really. that work so just a piece of plastic okay another piece of iron I believe you should take the motherboard together with this piece but yeah to our side for now what do we have left? This, if I remember right, should come out quite easy if you know how to take it out. No, there was like some kind of clips or something. We are work at the come out the floppy drive. So that's cool. got tiny difficulties. I don't know how to take out this hard drive body. Ah, this should be lifted because it has pins downstairs. But for sure I need to push something or pull or whatever. Like that. Okay, cool. I find it out. Or I was just lucky. piece of iron cool and our board for uh, slotting our hard drives and this is also a good one this contact because it has no solder on this side so you can just basically grab them and if you be gentle you just pull them out with the pins or if you're not be gentle you just pull the half of pins with the contacts and second half will stay up in the board so <laughs> yeah a lot of LEDs it also look like it's some gold color inside so cool behind tons of uh, tantalum capacitors actually not tons but quite few of them few of MLCC's there is one nice sized second third and just few IC chips really tiny one so that's it okay let's play further actually I don't need to take out this plastic or do I? Yes I do. I got wires under it and it's holding me something hold it in in here. But I just fish out one wire. Cool. I 
believe this is the second one. Just ID cable, that's good. Or this one was for floppy probably. But still. Pins in there. Yeah, it was from floppy. Again, cables, contacts, nice. Okay, got a message. Oh, I don't know. Never mind. Cool. So I just, just see some strips holding the wire, so I just get rid of that. Okay, I just cut it right away. There is these two contacts for the fans. It will be easier to take it out. There we go. So now we can just take it away if I find out. Yeah, I got it. I got almost no space in this box. Another front panel things, like two switch and some sensors. I believe it's for the closed uh, casing. Nothing special, but again, tiny piece of circuit boards, two cables, none golden, as well this one, so just simple contacts, second side empty already, let's cut this one away. Power supplies. Let's just cut them away. No, I don't got my bigger cutter in here. I believe it's laying somewhere in the basement. So, but there's not so many contacts I need to cut. So I will get it later on when I begin to play with the rest of these servers. Wires, contacts, wire, contacts. Still. Okay. Panel I can see in here. Just need to pull it out somehow. No, just some cover. Now I can see the screw. It is from this front cover USB. I do. So 
so just cut the USB port maybe that gold plate pins same as this side One more contact for the of the power supply units. Ooh. I got all of here. I can see some no something. Just like two gold plated contacts, that's cool. And tiny piece of wire. So, what else we got left here? I believe just our power supply things. No, yes, I can see a few screws. Okay, this bit is too big. I'll try the small one. Come on. Will be like nice gold plated contacts in there for this power supplies. At least power supplies has gold and gold plated pins, so the second end should be the same. two screws in there okay maybe try this one no too small Let's try the second one yes it's working well Just like one more screw. Now it can be opened. Piece of iron. Now this is too big. Look like I got it. So a piece of plastic. Well, maybe I just pull, pull it back to the same place it come from. So I will save up a little bit space on the self cover. Place and there is our 
circuit board which is fish out from there so we get like quite amount of wires and I just cut them loose set of it okay for this one I should bring the bigger one I mean these cutters There we go. Now I can see one more tiny contact left in here. Oh, that's cool. So that's our wires. And that's our board. In here we got nice and thick uh, gold plated pins. Few ICs. Some of them quite nice size. There's few more. Not sure what those things are, but yeah. Behind, just few tiny MLCCs and a lot of solder. So, and these things, I believe it is copper. See that? It's copper. Cool. So that will be it for these things. So I just drop back all this uh, iron inside this cover and just close it and yeah what do we have in here that's the our box of goodies just cool so I just sort those things and then we will take it from there I get to work okay guys so let's look at this power supply unit quite good looking so as usual getting rid of all the screws visible ones Second day, when, second day when I make this video because yesterday get like a bit late and yeah there was other things to do as well so that's the inside of this power supply unit nice gold plated pins in here some aluminum heatsink tons of actually not tons but Two, three, four of tiny transformers. Those spools actually it got the name, but I just forgot. But this basically is copper around and some ferrous stuff inside. Anyway, let's just try take it apart. Why not? Oh, 
Beatles. motors this contact doesn't have any gold at it and tiny piece of wire I basically separate most of the stuff from yesterday because it's actually the second day yeah as I said already yeah I do behind unfortunately but anyway I can see if I just get this two tiny boards out this is like nice and mid-grade board only two nice IC chips some MLCC's behind decent size and some tiny stuff in here still mid-grade board I just tried to break this one away it's coming same deal a lot of IC chips behind a lot of tiny stuff just cool mid-grade board and for the rest I believe I will took it to my air gun station so I just put it to a side and then just take it to the air gun but of this one I can get as well like this contact in here just main contact this one just need to push it on the right spot and it's sliding right up there we go cool this is nice one with the filter on it build it in actually and tiny amount of wires okay so that will be it for this one I believe yeah look like so second one I just do off the camera so anyway I just depopulate these two boards of these two power supplies units bring everything here and then we bring in our counting so see you then okay guys I believe I separate everything so now we can just check out how much everything we get so let's begin from the biggest amount let's just go and look there is hanging on the weight our cover and all iron and it's showing out yeah let's see almost 24 kilos 
so quite a lot for this one anyway it was huge cover and yeah so 24 kilos let's say it was 24 kilos okay let's go back in here yeah I just write it down so I can make some calculation for myself for myself 24,000 grams full then we get leftovers from our power supplies that is stripped board I just took everything what I can or what I want yeah and it end up with 600 and then I get those loose parts what I don't want so it will go just like uh, low grade boards I will don't mind the plastic because it weighs almost nothing and yeah so let's say uh, 770 low grade 770 grams cool get rid of that Whoa. that as well so we don't need this box anymore that was just low grade boards then we got our high grade boards yeah nice gold fingers look like CPU not so much much junk on it on it a lot of IC behind so it's high grade there as well only gold plated pins tiny uh, few tiny parts I don't know what really nothing behind as well high grade this as well qualified to high grade at my place basically because of those uh, gold finger and same as this that was the circuit board where our hard drives just slotting in so gold pins and some stuff behind enough to be high grade what else this one as well could go as a high grade gold pins here gold pins there few ICs more ICs this actually uh, copper bars let's say bars adding a lot of weight to this but yeah high grade it cost more than copper so that's cool and we end up like no we not finished yet those are also high grade because it's no junk on it only IC chips MLCCs and some few other stuff so we got four of them is that it yes I believe so so that's our high grade it's 460 for grams just great take it aside okay then we got our ram stick one two three four piece of that and it weighs like 114 grams Sorry. Cool. Then
then we got our CPU. Of course, with one we don't make a lot of money, but yeah. Anyway, let's look. Yeah, almost 30 grams. Good. So we got like two of these relays, tiny relays, but still they have silver inside. I will not count them because yeah, it will like 32 grams. I just add it to the rest. Or maybe I write it down. Relay. How much it was? 32. Yeah. 32 grams. Grams. And we got our brass. Only so much. Not much really. So let's just try 30 grams. Like 8 grams of brass. Grams. Then we got our MOSFETs and transistors. Some time you can sell it as a dirty copper. So 112 minus 30 grams for the box. It give us like 80 grams. 80 grams. Cool. Then I got some gold plated pins that just fall out as I depopulate that so yeah let's try 30 grams again yeah 18 grams just cool and then we got our like cast aluminum 135 grams. Hundred thirty five grams. Cast aluminum. Cool. Then we got our gold plated contacts. Hundred grams. Yeah, I just believe this box weight around 10 grams. Okay, so a little bit under 100 grams. Anyway, uh, non gold plated contact 130. Cool. Then we get our transformers. Five seventy eight. Let's say five eighty. Five eighty grams. about the grams so <coughs> then we get our aluminum 644 cool then we get our Copper four hundred thirty four 
cool. <coughs> Sorry, and then we got our main board and just several circuit boards. One kilo, seventy eight grams. So there you go guys, you have seen quite heavy server, then I took it apart, no I didn't finish it, I forget about electric motors, it's like 800 85 grams. Yeah, my mistake. Sorry. And one more thing. Our wires with the bucket 960. When I empty it. Grab my phone right quick. Okay, nine sixty minus four eighty five. So it's like four hundred seventy five grams of wires. Four seven. Okay. Now I believe I get everything, yeah, except this CD-ROM I kept and this like floppy drive, just extra one twelve eight one two eighty two one two. 80 and I believe that's it I also dropped some ferrous material just to the bucket down below while I just getting rid of this uh, ferrous stuff from the spools but it will not take so much weight anyway so you will all see Okay guys, I just want to check it out, so I assumed everything, what we just weighed, it was basically everything, it come out like 32,285 grams, yeah, like 32 kilo and something, a little bit, so that actually fit, now you can just check it out if it worth of doing or not actually with the video it took me like yeah sometime yesterday and sometime today like two afternoon not full afternoon but yeah it took some time anyway I am satisfied of that I just want to check the numbers and see how much I earn on that so I hope you guys enjoy that and have some uh, comparison what you can earn on server and as I say this one was really heavy one and it got a lot of junk because of this big uh, shelf cover anyway that's it for me for now okay guys I just make my counting and it's looking quite okay but I didn't count everything. I count like iron, low grade, high grade, RAMs. I didn't count CPU and uh, these relays. Didn't count the brass, these MOSFETs. 
uh, as well didn't count gold plated pins is there some more what I didn't count no I believe that's it and from my counting I earn on this server like 208 crowns Danish crowns let's speak in this one because it's like easy for me you can just transfer it to whatever you want anyway for this server I got to pay like 96 crowns I earn on it 208 so my I'm still on 112 crown plus only at this one and yeah let's look the rest of them it's like tiny smaller and much less iron so should be better I hope it will be anyway so you got all the numbers you got all the information what you need to check out on your local price I hope you all guys enjoy that and find it some kind of informative anyway so that's it for me take care See you all. Bye guys.